Hello everybody, welcome to another week of school lunches. I'm so happy that you are here. I just wanted to say welcome. These are real life lunches. We've been using the hashtag, hashtag real life lunches because these are not production style videos. These are not um, expensive lunches. They're honestly what I feed my kids, whether I was filming a video or not. I did a whole complete video on what I mean by real life lunches, how I started um, making lunch videos and all of that. I will link it down below if you didn't see that. It may answer a lot of your questions. So this week um, is kind of a crazy week. You'll kind of hear more about that th throughout the video. Um, but my grandmother passed away this week and it's been kind of crazy and you know that's part of the real life part of it. Um, you know sometimes stuff is going on behind the camera and behind the lunches that is just real life. So um, you're going to see Monday through Thursday this week. The kids have had a great week. I can't wait to show you everything that they've eaten. You'll also see um, what I eat some days, and you'll definitely see what I made my husband because he also takes his lunch to work as well. So if you are new, um, I do have a special needs son. He has autism, and um, if you aren't famil familiar with autism, um, a lot of kids with autism have um, sensory issues with texture taste um, and it makes lunches extremely hard and if you are watching because you have a kid with autism I just want to say thank you so much for watching number one <laughs> number two you're doing a great job no matter how much your kid eats um, you're doing a great job and uh, a few a few years ago Nate did not eat as much as he eats now it is a process don't stress out too much and I hope I can maybe give you some ideas but ultimately you know your kid the best so let's get into the lunches I can't wait to show you how they ate this week all right everybody welcome to Monday welcome another week so let me show you what the kids have and what David has we're gonna actually be out of town on Friday so I went ahead and packed him a lunch because he's working today too so just a normal day for everybody at school and work. So let me start with Lucy. Last night I made some jello. So I just poured the liquid jello in this little compartment to solidify in the fridge overnight. So now I have a nice little section of jello. This is strawberry jello. And Lucy's going to be so happy. <laughs> she also has some Ritz crackers and a few of these little breadsticks. She doesn't like the cheese that comes with it, but she loves the little breadsticks. She also has some pepperoni. And a little box of raisins and then you'll know she, her and her fruits and veggies I'm actually going to the store um, as soon as I drop them off from school because we are almost out of fruits and veggies but I have some peppers some carrots some blueberries and grapes I need to stock us up on a lot of other, other things but she'll be happy with that and then she has a Daniel smoothie and strawberry kiwi and she wanted water today so that is her lunch I kind of feel like it's not enough I don't know um, but she hasn't been eating all of it so I'm gonna we're test this out and she she just will get a snack when she gets home I think it's enough and then Nate we made some two ingredient dough um, yesterday for lunch so I made some extra dough and then just stuck it in the oven this morning while I was making everybody's lunch so he has some two ingredient dough pizza which if you are new and you don't know what that is it's just equal parts um, Greek yogurt plain fat-free Greek yogurt and self-rising flour. And then you bake it for five minutes and then you um, top it and bake it till it's all nice and brown. So cheese pizza, I'm a little worried I did too, too much sauce and this is going to get really messy in his lunchbox, but we're just going to go with it and see. He, he really likes his pizza, but I just don't know in the lunchbox. Um, and I, I did it in little bite-sized pieces because that's the way he likes it. He likes to do it with a fork um, and like stab it. Anyway, he has some cheese pizza a apples and cinnamon cereal bar, a few Pringles, and some goldfish. I'm out of strawberries. I would have given him some of those. And then he has milk. So that's their lunch. And then David, I gave him, I froze this leftover. It's uh, the Pioneer Woman sour cream noodle casserole. Um, so he has some of that, and it'll just defrost, and then he'll microwave it. Um, nacho cheese tortilla chips, a peanut sweet and salty bar from Aldi, an apple and a Diet Dr. Pepper. The Kroger brand is actually really good, y'all. 
So that is everybody's lunch. I'll definitely show you how the kids did. Um, and I might even show you my lunch coming up. We'll just see. We'll see you guys back in a little bit. I just thought you guys might be curious to see what I'm going to have for lunch. So I'm having a big salad, a bunch of lettuce. I'm going to have a little bit of cheese on here, some avocado, a few of Lucy's little mini pepperonis, and about a tablespoon of sunflower seeds. And then I made some homemade ranch dressing. I'm going to drizzle it. This is what I have with some water. We'll see you guys back when the kids get home from school. All right, guys. So the kids are home from school. I'm a little nervous because this feels pretty heavy. Um, Lucy, let's start with her. <laughs> she told me that when she opened this, a bunch fell on the floor, so she had to throw some of it away. So um, every... Yeah, some of it did. But she ate the rest, and then she told me she didn't eat her Jello because she wanted to eat it at home. So... Okay, so you didn't eat all your raisins. You ran out of time. Uh, she has some, some crackers left, a few pepperoni, and the jello is a little bit jiggled up, but <laughs> she can let have that see, for a second. Let me see. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. You want to eat it? Yeah. Okay. I'll eat my jello. She's going to have that for a snack. All right, she did really good, and she didn't drink too much. She didn't drink. All right, you guys, so my battery died. Now let's check Nate's. I really should have put the phone, I mean the camera on the tripod. Okay, so I'm not sure if he had any of the pizza. Eh, it's hard to tell. It's kind of got messy with all the sauce. He might not have eaten any of it. He might have had a piece or two. I should have counted. Last year I would count them. And I didn't think to do that. He had the rest of the stuff. He didn't have the pizza. That's okay. We will keep trying. Tomorrow I may go back to the chicken because I know that worked. And we'll just do that. So... Here is what they had for Monday. We'll see you guys back for Tuesday morning coming up now. All right, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Um, let me show you what the kids have today. I also have David's lunch. I'm sorry. I'm shocking. So quiet. Um, just trying to wake up still. So I made them both some chicken nuggets in the air fryer this morning. Nate has five chicken nuggets cut up and some ketchup, strawberries, and some potato chips. And he has some milk. And I did these Peppa napkins, not because I'm super fancy, but just because that's all the napkins I have. <laughs> They're left over from uh, Lucy's birthday party last year, so we're just getting rid of them. And who doesn't love Peppa Pig, you know? Lucy has some chicken nuggets I just put in this little divider thing so that I could put her a few veggie straws next to it. She has um, three chicken nuggets cut up. And then some strawberries and grapes with a little chicky. So cute pick and then in the middle she has some gummies and fruit snacks and then yesterday she had a really hard time with that little container um, I think I told you guys that it spilled everywhere on her while she was trying to open it up so I told her today until she got used to it I would pack it in a Ziploc bag her veggies so she has peppers carrots and cucumbers and hopefully that'll be a little easier until I can finish working with her on opening that it's kind of hard and then once she did open it it just flew everywhere so and then I gave her a fruit punch today um as well as the water Nate likes taking milk so he has milk okay David had a really busy day yesterday so he accidentally left his lunch box at work so when he does that I just stick it in a plastic bag so I'm gonna give him this lean cuisine four cheese pizza that I found on Markdown gotta love those Markdowns and then a sweet and salty cashew bar, an orange, and some potato chips with a Diet Dr. Pepper. So that is what we have today. I'll show you my lunch probably next. All right, you guys, so I'm having lunch. I made this egg roll in a bowl dish. It's really, really good. It's basically just the filling of an egg roll without the shell part. I am gonna drizzle a little bit of sesame oil on top, and that's lunch. So we'll see you guys when the kids get back from school. All right, y'all, the kids are home from school. So let's start with Lucy. She has quite a few veggies left. Lucy, did you eat any of these veggies, girlfriend? Did you eat your veggies? Not really. You ready to eat some more? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's weird for her. All right. Are you so busy eating everything else? Yeah. Oh, man, you didn't eat very much. You didn't eat your chicken. You still got your gummies and most of your fruit. Did you have a big, she did have breakfast at home and breakfast at church. I mean at church. Breakfast at school. She had double I'm breakfast. <laughs> you can have it. Um, so we didn't eat too much today, but I'm sure tomorrow you'll eat more, right? Mm. And then she still has her water. Did you drink your juice? Um, no. Okay. 
All right, let's see, Bubs. What? What, 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 what? Look at your brother's lunchbox. <sighs> Y'all, the chicken just disappears around here. He ate everything, and he also had a great day behaviorally. I'm super <gasps> proud of him. It's oh, the best I'm day we've had gummies. behaviorally. Amazing. All the gummies are so far deep in here. Okay. All right, that is how they did. Thumbs up for Nate. Thumbs up still for Lucy because I know she had a lot this morning. And she eats only like a couple hours after second breakfast. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure she'll eat more tomorrow. Yay for Nate, though. That's awesome. We'll see you guys back for Wednesday coming up next. All right, everybody. Welcome to two. No, Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday's lunches. Um, let me show you what the kids have. So Lucy has some bow ties with butter and Parmesan. These are the little mini bow ties. Right here she has some grapes and I gave her a little birdie. If you can tell a little bird pick there. I cut up some pink lady apples, some strawberries. That's what she has in that little section. And then, um, like I said yesterday, she's been having a hard time opening the other containers. So we're just doing Ziploc bags um, for now until she can get better at it. So she has some peppers and cucumbers. Um, and then as a dessert, she has these yummy um, cookies from Trader Joe's or the pink and whites. Although she requests just pink. And <laughs> we got these from an awesome subscriber. Thank you so much, Kim. She loves them. And she has milk today. I try to go a little bit lighter for her because um, she hasn't been eating as much. So I didn't want it to go to waste. So that's what she has. And then Nate has macaroni and cheese. And I say this every time, but I know a lot of people are watching for the first time. If you want to keep your thermos hot, whatever's inside really hot, um, what you need to do is to prime your thermos. So I boil some water. I just boil it on my um, kettle and um, my tea kettle. Boil it, pour it in here, and let it sit for like 10 or 15 minutes. And then dump out the boiling water and put in whatever you're putting in the hot. Like I warm it up in the microwave, the mac and cheese. And then I put the mac and cheese in the thermos after I dump out the water. And it stays really, really hot. So he has some ABC macaroni and cheese. I'm not going to open it because I don't want to let all the steam escape, but it's full of mac and cheese. He has some milk. And then right here he has some strawberries and some Cheez-Its. So that is what the kids have. Let me show you what David has, so it's going to make more sense if we get down here to the bottom. Today's a pretty busy day for him, so I want to make sure you have enough stuff. We made some meatballs um, for dinner last night, so he has some leftover meatballs that he's going to make into little sandwiches. So I have some rolls there with some cheese to put on top, and then he has some Cheez-Its, some grapes, and a Fiber One protein cookies and cream bar. Um, and a Diet Dr. Pepper in there. Yep. So that is what everybody has. Um, if I have lunch home, if I have lunch, I'll try to remember to show you guys what I had. If not, I'll see you guys back when the kids get home. All right, you guys, the kids are home from school. I didn't show you my lunch today because I wasn't home for lunch and grabbed a quick lunch out. So this is what the kids have. Lucy already told me that she didn't eat very much because they had a cupcake she was trying to get for um one of her friends in her class's birthday <laughs> so um she had maybe half of her bow ties a little bit of her grapes and most of her apples and then she had just a not much at all of her veggies a few and she didn't have her cookies because they had cupcakes but she did drink most of her milk so that is how she did i did loosen this but i haven't checked he did really well. I would say he ate two thirds at least of this. It's almost all gone, just a little bit in the bottom. So that's awesome. And if I can open this with one hand, um, it looks like he ate all of his strawberries and only has the cheese that's left. So that's good. He ate some of them, but not all. So, and he drank all of his milk. So very successful day for lunch, especially for Nate. And um, you guys, we only have one more day left of the lunches. We're going to cut them off early on Thursday instead of going all the way to Friday because we will be going out of town. So the kids won't be having a normal lunch at school. So, And I want to get the video edited for you guys. So this is Wednesday. We'll see you for one more day coming up next. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Thursday. Um, let me show you what I have the kids today. Uh, this kind of lunch was very popular with Nate last year. So I thought we would do it again. Um, we'll see how it goes. So um, it is a breakfasty sort of kind of lunch. <laughs> More like a brunch, I guess. So they have French toast sticks today. So I just heated them up in the microwave and cut them up. 
super super easy they love these and then Lucy has a mixture of strawberries and grapes we don't have a ton of variety of fruits and veggies this week I'm just trying to use up what we have so she has some grapes and some strawberries and then I put a little flower pick in there it's really cute for dessert she has a one little gummy worm and then she has a bag of the mixed veggies carrots cucumbers peppers Nate is in a rare form back there if you hear him um I'm trying to go a little um, not as much food on her because she just doesn't have a lot of time to eat at school and she's not really that hungry at lunchtime so um, I'll just feed her a bigger snack but I think this is going to be enough food for her and then she asks for water to drink so Nate though has been doing really good with his lunch he's eating a little bit later um, I think they eat at like noon which is about an hour later than last year and I really think that's helping him eat more and be hungry so he has quite a few more French toast sticks he also has a um, strawberry cereal bar. Actually, no, apples and cinnamon cereal bar. Some cut up strawberries, and I just put a few goldfish in the middle. And then he has milk. So that is what the kids have. Let me walk you over. Don't mind my messy kitchen. Um, I've been doing dishes. <laughs> Let me show you what David has. I went really simple, but he actually really likes these um, lunches when he gets sandwiches. So I made him two sandwiches. These just have turkey, um, white American cheese, and a little bit of mayo. So he has two of those um diet dr pepper one of these barbecue potato chips package of chips ahoy cookies um 100 calorie pack of cashews and then i'm also going to throw in an apple um thursdays are really long for him so i try to make sure he has enough food i think that's going to be good that is everything i will try my best to show you my lunch coming up next Okay, you guys, so this is what I'm having for lunch. Um, I usually keep it super simple, so this isn't too exciting, but I did want to show you. So I have a bunch of lettuce here. I have some avocado chopped up. I have just a little bit of sunflower seeds. It's the rest of my unsalted sunflower seeds. And then I have some cheese, and I just cut up some chicken nuggets, and I have this leftover homemade ranch. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of that on there, and I have a water that I'm going to drink with it. So this is my lunch. We will wrap up the video when the kids get home from school. All right, you guys, the kids are home from school. Um, Lucy did really well. Look at this. All the veggies are gone. Let me open this one. And she, Lucy, why didn't you eat your gummy worm? You could have eaten it. You ate everything. She likes to say retreat for coming home. <laughs> so she had her veggies, her all of her French toast, and all but two pieces of strawberry. She did really good today. I'm super proud of you. And the Okay, you want to eat that now? Mm -hmm. She likes to save it. Most kids would eat that first, I think. Lucy is so funny. Okay, let's see Nate. Bum, 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 bum. Drum roll. That was a terrible drum roll. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. We're ending on such a good note here. All of it. Every crumb is gone. His milk is gone. Lucy has everything on but two little bites of strawberries. They did so good today. They really like the French toast. I think it's a huge, huge hit. Sorry for that. So well, thank you all so much for cheering on my kids this week. Man, they did really, really good. Super excited. This is the end of the video. Lucy and I are going out of town tomorrow, so y'all keep us in our, your prayers. Nate will be going to school, but I just won't film it because I want to get this video up for you guys. All of the products I use will be linked down below. Remember, real life lunches. Um, do the best you can for your family. You guys are all awesome, and you're doing a great job. I love you all. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We will see you all later. Bye, everybody. I tried writing down the words to say it is time. I've been waiting five.